<laughs> Hello, and my name is Spooch. And recently, I just got back from a very long trip to Africa. But that that's enough out of me. Today, I want to talk about a very serious topic, topic that's been pressing my mind forever now. And that's, when you go on the furry side of YouTube, you see all of these videos of, like, you know, what to do at a convention, how to survive at a furry convention, you know, what to pack for a furry convention. And the thing is, these guys, they got it, they got it all wrong. Now, me personally, I'm what you call a uh, PCGP, and that stands for, boom, pro-con-goer person. That's right, read and weep. Anyways, point being, I'm a professional, and I'm here to give you the most professional guide on how to actually survive at these cons, and what they're actually about. Not all this fake stuff on other channels, only you get in only the realist here at Channel Spooch. That's right. I hate myself. Alright, the first step is booking your flight. Now, most of the time you're going to be flying unless you live in San Jose, Reno, Chicago, Atlanta, or Pittsburgh. Otherwise, you're going to be wanting to fly into your conventions. So, you know, the biggest issue is how do I get my whole entire fursuit into a suitcase to bring on the plane? Because, you know, I, I hear all the time people, like, getting, like, two extra suitcases or three or an entire storage tub thingy to bring on the plane. I'm here to tell you don't need to do any of that. All you got to do is wear the fursuit on the plane. I mean, <laughs> people aren't going to... You'll fit in great. You'll be just fine. Also, you'll be comfortable. Also, don't do that if you're flying United because you'll definitely get dragged off. Just like that doctor. Now a lot of you are thinking, what about booking your room? Because that should come a long ways before booking your flight. Just because the convention gets it all set up, they have to book your room on certain dates and everything. No, no, no. You don't have to do that. Okay, so... You go up to that front desk, and you tell the attendant, you say, Hey... I want a two-room suite on the convention floor with unlimited milkshakes, please. Thank you. The attendant will then reply, I'm sorry, but a room like that doesn't exist. Um, if you did want an actual room, you would have had to book on the scheduled dates. And you say, no. No. You just you look him dead in the eyes. Just give him that stare. And you say, buddy, I don't think you know my power. See, I've been on Yelp for four years now. I've single-handedly destroyed a whole chain of Chinese restaurants with just a review. So I better have my bags delivered to my two-room suite on the convention floor and a strawberry milkshake waiting for me with whipped cream and a cherry on top. All right? All good? And it's bound to work. Works all the time. I would know. <laughs> Professional here. You know? Alright, so now you're at the convention, you have your hotel room, and you've probably registered by now. If you don't know what registering is, look it up! What do I look like, someone who's helpful? Alright, so now, let's get down to the convention. Alright? So, a big part of it's the dealer's den. That's where, you know, all the artists gather, they have their booth, and they sell their art in, in a, a den. Yes. But let's say you are an artist, you're a professional artist, your art's the best, and you want a booth. But man, those booths are expensive, and I don't want, I don't like paying money for things. So what do you do? Well, you use the element of surprise. Not only will you be getting a free boot, but you will be getting a ton of customers with this method. So now you have the materials to set up your booth, but you don't have a space. Because you didn't buy one out. Because spending money sucks. But here's what you do. You simply, you go around, you either find a very popular artist or fursuit maker, then you set up the booth right in front of theirs. So when people come to buy from them, they see your booth and they buy from you instead. And that's how you make it rich. That's how you make it rich in the real world. But there is a catch. Once you set up your booth in front of the popular artist slash fursuit maker, they'll probably say, 
Hey, what the hell are you doing? I paid a lot of money for this space. You're blocking all my customers. You simply just say, Finders keepers. Losers weepers. That's how we roll. Yeah. All right, another big aspect to a furry convention is the fursuiters themselves. And like for a first timer, you know, you might be intimidated, like how do I approach them? You know, how do I interact with them? All right, it's very simple. What fursuiters love is the element of surprise. You can never go wrong with that. So when you're a fursuiter, you're very limited with your vision. It's usually just here. So that allows you a lot of blind spots. You simply sneak up on them in their blind spots and pop up when you want to greet them. They love that. They, they get them all excited and rowdy. You, you, it's what you want to go for. Trust me. Trust me. D do it. Do it. Do do it at. Trust me. You should do it. You, <laughs> don't do it. And the other big fur suitor thing is the headless lounge. Now, all these other, you know, guides are always saying, oh. Oh, if you're not a fursuiter, don't go in the headless lounge. You know, oh, no, don't go, don't go in the headless lounge with any any cameras or any recording equipment because you, you want to respect their privacy. Look, that's just simple reverse psychology. See, fursuiters, they love to get their picture taken. They just love it. They thought it'd be smart to use some reverse psychology to try to bring the camera people to them. You know. Just, oh, oh, please, please don't come in the headless lounge. Oh, don't bring your cameras in the headless lounge. Oh, I, I want to respect my privacy. Oh, I'm all gross out of suit. I, I don't come in the headless lounge. But they want you in the headless lounge. That's where they're in their best poses. If you're at a furry convention for pictures, go in the headless lounge. Everyone in there is just posing. And there's no other camera people in there because they get tricked. They think the reverse psychology isn't a real thing. But, but it is. You should go in there with lots of recording equipment and cameras and take lots of pictures. Because that's when fursuiters are in their prime. Trust me again. I have the badge. That's right. Alright, so these conventions, you know, you want to make them last. You're not really just laying down. You're really active and you're not really going back to your two two room suite hotel room at the convention floor with unlimited milkshakes a lot. So, because of that... A lot of people almost forget to bathe. But the thing is, bathing takes a lot of time. Those two, three minutes from bathing, you could be down at the convention floor hanging out with some cool dudes. So here's a solution. You know those little, little axe body sprays? You take that, you just spray it all around you, good to go. It's all you need. People love it. You can tell too. You can you can really tell when people, you know, you walk by them. You're like, ah, shower to go, nice, 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 yeah, nice. <laughs> Another thing at these conventions, especially the bigger ones, you're gonna see popular fur suiters that you've seen online, and like, how do you interact with them? Do you just get a quick picture? No, you don't want a quick picture. You want to be their friend forever. You want to hang out with them. These guys are so cool. You see the subscriber count that they have on their YouTube channel? That's that's someone you want to be a friend with. But how do you do it? How do you make friends without being completely awkward? The one thing you can do that all popular fursuiters love, and it just you automatically become their friend if you do this. You simply just follow them around the entire convention. Like... Not like close, but from a distance. You follow them from a distance. Wherever they go, you go. You just constantly watch them in silence. From the shadows. Just looking at them. Observing. They see, they recognize that. Like, this is probably the coolest guy on the planet. He definitely, I definitely need to hang out with this man. Boom, you're in. You just made friends with a popular furry. How do you feel? Pretty great, I know. Alright. Also, a majority of this fandom does not have a fursuit. For some reason. So, 
What if you are a non-suitor? What, what do you wear at a convention? Well, let me tell you. You wear something light. And what I mean by light is because there's all these people dressed up as giant animals, it also allows actual giant animals to get into the convention, such as bears, lions, tigers, bears, and it's just, it's scary. So what I mean by wearing something light means you're, you're running. You're running constantly if you're a non-suitor. I mean, fursuits save lives. It's proven. When you're wearing a fursuit, you blend right in. But when you when you don't, you, you pray. But now, now the convention's over. It's all over. It's, it's all gone. You gotta take your bags and move out of your two-room suite on the convention floor with free unlimited milkshakes. I know, it's heartbreaking. But that's what it is. You take your bags, you go to closing ceremony, you get on your plane and you go home. Now what? You're all, you're home now. Now what? Well, I tell you what. You get on your phone, you get on Twitter, and you start bitching your ass off about how you have PCD. Like, oh, oh, this weekend was so fun. I I miss all my friends. Uh, I, 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 oh, the PCD is kicking in. Oh, I had such a great time with all my friends. Oh, oh this weekend was so great. You start doing that. You know what that does? Everyone who didn't go can feel good because they could look on Twitter and be like, hey, that person has PCD and I don't. I didn't do anything but binge on Netflix and ice cream all weekend, but I don't have PCD. That makes me feel better, better about myself. God, I'm lonely. I wish I was there. But anyways, I hope this guide helped you, because I know it did, because, again, badge. Uh, but anyways, um, first off, don't take me seriously ever. Don't. Um, second of all, holy shit, how, did, how do we even get 30 subscribers after one video? I know that's small to a lot of people, but that's, that's amazing for me. Th thank you. I love you. But anyways, bye.